Welcome back to the show. When is the last time you've been down to Pike Place Market? Well, we are here to remind you that there are lots of amazing shops there with the freshest items, including all the fruits and veggies. And here with a look at what's in season is Frank Gonzale from Frank's Quality Produce. Welcome back to New Day, my Hi, friend. Hi, how are you? I, I think actually this is the first time you and I are meeting in person. I think so. Last time was Zoom or it was over Zoom, something like that. And you couldn't see this. Inc I mean, this is literally a cornucopia of incredible fruits and veggies. I'm just, I'm in awe, my friend. Well, thank you. It's beautiful. This it's a good is, time of year for produce. It, is it? It is, for sure, as you can see. Well, sometimes you think winter, not a great time of year, but that apparently does not seem to be the case. So what is in season now, other than everything that I'm looking at? Well, I mean, right up front and center is the mushrooms. I mean, there's all kinds of varieties of wild mushrooms that are coming out right now. Uh, we had a kind of a, uh, with the snow and, and things like that, mm -hmm. everything got put on hold a little bit, but you're starting to see chanterelle mushrooms, hedgehog mushrooms, some maitake mushrooms. Those are all in right now. So, you know, mushroom ragu, <sighs> great right now. Baby artichokes are just beautiful. I love the artichokes. All kinds of the uh, bitter greens, you know, the chicories. There's the Costo Franco radicchio and Treviso, Belgian endive, things like that that you want to make nice, beautiful salads with. What is this? This thing that looks like a pom pom. <laughs> that is frisé. Frisé. Yes. What do you do with fr it looks frisé? What, what do you do with this? Um, well, you can just uh, cut it up and put it in your salads for color. Uh, it has a little bitterness to it. Uh, you can just use it as a garnish or something like that. Yeah. You can just keep it around. <laughs> sure. It makes you happy. Um, speaking of mushrooms, I have to say, Frank, is that we've had a, a couple of people. We had a mushroom forager come on and show us how to make mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But mushroom foraging scares me. Yes. So I am glad to know that I can just pop down to Frank's and get all the mushrooms you I can, need. For sure. All right, well, talking about other things you can cook with right now, what are, what are some of the favorite items we have here that you like to cook with this time of year? Uh, well, these kales and chards and these different colored cauliflowers are really nice just for sauteing. Uh, roasting up the cauliflower is great. That, you know, a little broccolini, a sweet broccoli is really nice right now. You can, you can grill that or you can just uh, steam it have a little olive oil and some lemon juice, something like that on top of it. And then, you know, we have all these uh, citruses right now, blood oranges oh, and uh, car, car oranges and uh, white grapefruit, things like that that are, you know, great for um, reducing down reductions mm -hmm. or for using for cocktails and things like that. So. And you know what I love is that all these colors are just so bright and happy in the winter. Do the, do the different colors taste differently? I know it's a silly not question. Not too much. Uh, they're, they're very similar. Okay. The Romanesco, this one here is a really nice, uh, you know, it's so cool looking. I love but, the um, Romanesco. Yeah, it's, it's really favorite. nice. It does have a little nice sweet flavor to it. So This one is my favorite. When I walked up and I started petting it, I mean, <laughs> This looks like it was extinct 60 million years ago, but no, it's here at Frank's. What is this? Uh, that is uh, dino kale or lacinato kale, and um, that's again, that's a, a beautiful kale. You can eat it raw if you just slice it thin and make it salads out of it. Uh, it's great to just wilt down and saute. Um, it's just a really uh, great variety to, to use. Yeah, it's and you know, mix kale. it with these nice sweet chards or, is oh, really nice. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. I love that. But I like this is one of my absolute favorites because it's just it's so it looks so different. Yeah. I would imagine if you're making a dinner and, and having a dinner party, things like this that look interesting. It's showstoppers, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, let's talk about some of the other fruit. I see pineapple there. Looks well, you know, amazing. I mean, this time of year, there's not a lot of good melons. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the best time of year for melons. We have local, beautiful melons in the summer, and so that's, you get used to that really sweet, great melon flavor. But the pineapples are just beautiful right now. They're really sweet, yeah. juicy. You can just see by the inside. You can smell it right now. And it's really, really beautiful. And then, you know, these beautiful satsumas, and sure, everybody has a little bowl of those on the counter at home. They're yes. seedless, easy to peel, great for great. snacking, and it is wonderful. And good for vitamin C right now. Of course. If you're yes. gonna eat your vitamin C, I always say, Invest in a satsuma. Invest in your in your citrus. Yeah, and they're just so easy it to makes, grab and throw in your bag and go. And so. they're flavorful because we've all beautiful. bought like cheap oranges that taste like licking a wall. <laughs> Franks are going to taste like heaven. I guarantee yes, it. Yes. Speaking of things not to lick but to try, what is this, Frank? Is this a? Can Those I eat this? are yeah. The, they're grapes. Um, they're called either witch finger grapes, moon mm. drop grapes, but they're they're something special. I mean, you don't get them all year long, and they're really just crunchy and and sweet they're seedless and it's just kind of fun to have they're actually delicious yes and you know what it's a two bite thing 
You got you get more grape out of this, I feel like. Yes, yeah, for sure. This is delicious. And they're I really would've... juicy. They're really nice. They really are because I'm still swallowing. Um, I'd love to make a salad with these. Yeah, for sure. And that you would could be slice fun. them long ways. It'd be kind of cool to have them. Yeah, there. people be like, what's that? What's in my salad? Yeah. <laughs> I got it at Frank's. Yes. What is the biggest question you get from people this time of year? Well, just what should I have for dinner? Yeah. I mean, when you're at the market, people come down and they usually, nowadays, they just shop for dinner that night. They go get their meat, they go mm -hmm. get whatever, and they come by and they say, what should I have? And that's the main question. Our guys just steer them in the right direction, so all these different things, they try and pair up whatever protein they're using with something that we have that's great, and um, yeah, that's what they ask. This is so great, especially if you're trying to be healthy right now and you want to be creative and not eat the same old boring healthy things. I mean, I would be, I'd walk up to your, your produce and, and be like, what is that? What, what was that? What do I do with this guy? And well, these beets are, you know, this is something that our guys can tell you about. I mean, just uh, boiling and then slicing and you can have a beet salad, um, things like that with some goat cheese and even, you know, slicing up some of the, the kales for, for garnish and whatnot. It, it's just, it's really nice, you know, or spinach and things like that to go with them. But, Your family um, must eat so well. Well, you have to you have to take chances. I mean, you can't just go get the same <laughs> things every single time. You have to look at something like you've never had this kale before. You've got to try it out sometime, and, and our guys will, are there to help you. Oh, Frank, this has been such a pleasure. It's such a visual delight, and thank you so much for inspiring us to, yeah. to think outside the box, think outside the produce box, if you will, <laughs> and just try some new things. Thank you so yes, much, Frank. It's so welcome. good to yes, see you. Yes, great to be here. All right.